the exact same room? This is Toka speaking. This again. No, wait. Could it be? Too good to me. <laughs> Stand still. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Until I see that light once more. Duty is my guiding light. Wretched, fleeting. Let me tend to your wounds. Look, listen, feel, kick. Relax. Pass them up, Numby.
If you don't know the right technique, you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. That light wants me. I will protect all beauty in the universe. Good times never last. Time to say bye. The knight's duty is my guiding light. Until I see that light once more, I will protect all beauty in the universe. Good times never last. Time to say bye. See you next time. Hurry.
You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. How was it? Did you dream of me? Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. I know you've many questions, so please compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. Why isn't there a sugar-free salt glad option? Himiko, I brought the kid back as promised. Uh, you're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Yeah, Miss Himiko said that they were investigating incidents happening in the dreamscape we've only met once but thanks to you we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better so how did you end up there and what the heck happened so the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red adept at illusory arts and was able to shapeshift her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It seems you know her well. Of course, I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying, but the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations, but that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Penacony itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone he fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic. Dangerous. Enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. <sighs> She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? I remember... Well, it was a room... And then... Through a mirror... I came to a long hallway... The... Gallery of Thoughts... 
That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Panacone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what he just experienced, and the answer is clear. Panacone's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form, and falling into the deep sea. Sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would, it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that he encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme. How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase, then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Naturally, take your time. <laughs> <laughs>